Daniel Dos Santos. Welcome yes. to the Fight Week bubble here in Manchester. First of all, how are you and how happy and excited are you to be here? Really, really exciting. I'm really excited. I'm really fine. Ready to fight. Ready to fight night. For the UK fans, I just want to talk a little bit about your story and what's brought you to this point. You spent three years in the French Army, boxed for the national team there. How do you look back on your time in service with the army in France and what do you feel you learned from your experience in service? Uh, it was the best, maybe the best moment of my life because uh, uh, to be a part of the French army, it's an honor. No, no, everybody can say he was in the, in the French army. I was in the French army, but I was also in the elite of the French army. So it was a, a great moment of my life and a great experience. We know that your life has had many ups and downs that you've had to come through. After your time in the army, you, you spent some time in prison over yes. three years. I can only imagine how tough that must have been for you. But it was when you were inside in jail that you realised you, you had to make some changes to your life, wasn't it? Um, it was a difficult moment because um, to be uh, uh, under the light when you are in the French army, it's, kind, it's a kind of, of honour. And to be uh, in jail, it's, it's, a little, it's, a it's really tough. And when I, uh, when I was in, in jail, I say to, my, uh, to, to myself that I, I, I wouldn't go back in, into the jail because it's a tough moment, not also for me, but also for my family, my, my friend. It's a really tough moment. We hear many stories of how boxing saves people, whether it's giving them a passion to, to pull them off of the streets and give them discipline. Would you describe yourself as a, a perfect example of how boxing saved you from that darkness? Yeah, yes, 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 100%. Because without boxing, I think I... Boxing saved my life. Boxing saved my life. My trainer saved my life to, uh, as well because he was the man who believed in himself before then I believed in myself. So uh, it was um, to be... Uh, now, yes, boxing saved my life. It's, uh, and with boxing, we not also be a champion or have money or something like that. Just be, go in a gym, do your uh, training session, be someone, can, can, can teach you to be someone good, you know, I think. And when you look back on that journey, to be sat here in front of us, preparing to headline a show on Sky Sports and DAZN all around the world. You must be um, incredibly proud of yourself. Yes, it, this is, the, the, this is the, the way to prove that then everything is possible. When you make the good, the good, uh, the good ch uh, change in your life, you, you are around the good people, you can, everything is possible. And I am a, a great example. And I hope then Saturday night I will prove with the win that that is really, really possible. Would you say it's a mixture of talent in the boxing ring, hard work, dedication, and that desire to change your life that's got you to this point? Yes, yes, of course. For me, for, for have this opportunity, I... I was needed to do a lot of training, a lot of hard work, a lot of tough sparring uh, session with tough opponents. And all of these things put me um, in the way to have this opportunity. And thank God I have this opportunity right now. As a fighter, you're 15 and I was a professional with eight wins coming inside the distance. For the UK fans who might not have seen an awful lot of you, how would you describe your fighting style? I, ha I, can, I can do whatever I want. I think I, I, am, a, I, ha I, ha I am, excuse me, I am a technical fighter, but uh, I can also um, uh, be a, a, a good striker. I can bang with uh, my opponents. I can move forward. Uh, I can adapt. I can adapt myself to different styles. Talk to me about when you first got the call from Matchroom that this opportunity to yes. face Joshua Boatsy had a rose, and, and what some of your first feelings were when, when you got that call? Wow! <laughs> this, the only the, the first thing that, that I was uh, thinking is wow, this is huge. This is why I was dreaming uh, when I when I was in jail. This is what I, when I was uh, this is what uh, what I was dreaming to be a part of a grand event. 
to be a part of uh, of boxing, and uh, and I have I have this opportunity right now. It's just amazing. Joshua Boatsy is regarded as a world class prospect here in the United Kingdom. What do you know about him as a fighter, and what sort of fight are you expecting? I know him well. He's a, a great fighter. He moves forward. Uh, his technique. He's a great fighter. Nothing away from him. But uh, I also think that I, I have uh, to beat him. I have to beat him. And facing a guy like that, after that, I, I, I hope that my life is going to change. We've, we've talked about how you've already made the changes in your life to get to this point, but outside of boxing, you became a father. Yeah, you're married now. I just wonder how you feel your life will change, as well as you looking to inspire some other people to yes. that anything is possible. I just wonder how you think your life will change if you win this fight on Saturday night. If I win this fight, I think uh, I'm going to motivate a lot of people. Uh, first of all, in France, and if, if I if I uh, I continue to prove, uh, then I I, I am. Um, a great boxer. I think I can motivate people around. I, I hope so. Then uh, one day, people around the world are going to say, "Hey, l this guy was uh, in a in bad situation, and look at look at him right now. He's a, a great champion. He he do he do a lot of great things in boxing. And I hope that uh, young people or older people are going to say to say something like that about me. I hope." You've worked in many jobs to help yeah. fund this dream. You've been a butcher, you've <laughs> been a driver. Yeah. And I just wonder, if you beat Joshua Boatsy, do you believe it would allow you to fully dedicate yourself full time? To I hope so. Boxing? I hope so. I hope so. This is uh, my, my goal. This is my goal because uh, uh, to be an elite fighter, a world class fighter, you have to dedicate uh, at your sport 100%. And I hope then uh, me and my team can be really. Um, full-time professional and uh, it was it be a full-time professional it was be a, an achievement for myself for my trainer for my teammate and uh, you can I'm going to be better and I hope then uh, after this fight this is going to uh, this is going to be people will have Joshua Boatsy as the favorite heading into this fight but you've been the underdog in life based on what you've been through do you feel strong as the underdog heading into this fight and are you excited to prove people wrong once again? Most definitely, definitely, because I, I all of my life I was uh, the underdog, and life is most is most is more tough than than a boxing match. If you are, if you can uh, stay in the right way, do the great things every time in your life, this is more tough than uh, than than only a boxing match. Of course, it's going to be uh, the um, the. Um, it's going to be the favorite. Of course, it's going to be the favorite. It's normal. Uh, I'm a no in the UK. I am a no one fighter. I don't have right now. I don't have title. It's normal. But I have the background to beat this guy, and I I I, I know that. Well, Daniel, it's been great to hear your story. But do you believe on Saturday night this journey can take the fairy tale twist? You're not just here to make up the numbers, are you? You are here to win, and whether it's by knockout or by points, you believe on Saturday night. I believe, believe Joshua I believe that I can beat him. Of course, I really believe that I can beat him. No, no, no disrespect or no uh, trash talking or stuff like that. No, pff, this is no. I'm not like that. But I really believe that I can beat th this guy. Daniel, thanks for your time. We wish you uh, the very best of luck. And thank you. Thank, thank you for being so honest. Thank with you. Us. I really appreciate. Really thank appreciate. You. Thank you.